Hello everyone. Having a spam backlinks to your campaign can be deadly and also can be harmful for your campaign. Now the thing is how one can disavow spam backlinks and this is the main point of discussion for today's episode. So before going further let us first understand what causes a spam in a particular backlink. So the thing is there can be multiple reason but four of the commonly identified reasons are as the first reason is if you link to any backlinks that have a negative or a low quality value such as a low domain authorities or a low page ratings as such. The second thing is if you link out to any topically irrelevant websites uh, and the websites itself are having a spam domain in nature. The third thing is if the domain is having a bad reputation uh, so, uh, like that kind that may use any misleading techniques for grabbing users attentions or such kind of things. The last but not the least if a particular website is having a poor organic traffic. So these four are the main areas that determines the spams concept of a particular backlink. However, these are not limited to because as claimed by Google, uh, there can be more reasons on how a spam can happen and tools and like using any tools can just give you a mere concept or a mere data on what type of backlinks are actually considered as a spam. So today in this episode, once again, we would be discussing how to disavow spam backlinks and this is going to be explained by Tuhin Maiti who is our senior strategist at Datware and let us see what he have to offer us. So let's dive into the entire process so how we can disavow the spammy backlinks uh, in order to uh, strengthen your link profile uh, in order to maximize your SEO campaign. So uh, in order to do that we first uh, head to moz.com as they uh, have their own spam score metrics there so we can use the link explorer there and then by uh, of browsing that by exploring that uh, that portion we can uh, extract the data based on the back spammy backlinks so we have uh, achieved some some of the uh, uh, spam spammy backlinks there and then we can uh, sort the backlinks according to the uh, load domain authority so in order to do uh, disable this uh, particular backlinks so what we need to do is we need to go ahead onto the google disable tool so from there we can uh, create a separate list based on a certain uh, notepad where we can filter all the uh, backlinks that we have extracted from the moss uh, itself and then uh, we can run the command uh, as uh, you can see in the uh, dashboard so uh, based on that, we can uh, segregate, uh, segregate the, each of the things. So, and then we can upload the entire list to the Google Disable tool, and then we can uh, run the uh, process to uh, to instruct Google that we want to disable these particular sets of backlinks. So, this is the entire process. What we can do in order to uh, maintain our link profile uh, in terms of uh, maintaining the healthy uh, you know uh, spam score so uh, in order to do that also we can uh, use the help of uh, like uh, SEMrush uh, tool as well so they, they, they also offer the same features uh, in their uh, tools as well so this is the entire thing in order to uh, maintain the overall toxicity for your entire link profile so the key takeaway from our main video in today's episode is that first thing spam backlink should be disavowed the second thing is disavow should be done every month or it can be repeated every 21 days which is my preferred value if you ask me why i don't have any reason this is just because i prefer every 21 days backlink should be disavowed no matter what the third thing is backlinks should be monitored thoroughly and if you encountered any backlinks coming from irrelevant website having topically irrelevant relevance or even coming from a poor authority sites then they should also be disavowed immediately and last but not the least disavow should happen in a proper fashion manner as explained by Tuhin Maiti in this today's video hope you enjoyed this today's session thank you